you i'll be providing you with the answers to the question given in your textbook and the tick the correct answer that has been given in the textbook that also i'll be providing you with the answer and the grammar portion that has been discussed in the book that discusses mainly about the present perfect tense and uh, there has been a an other exercise on page 6 that discusses about the twin meaning of the same word one for positive and one with negative one so we'll be discussing all this in this video now we'll start with the answer to these questions of the lesson the missing bat so the first question is where did ahmed's father work so the answer to this question is ahmed's father worked in Abdul Rahman's Chacha's Cricket Bat Factory in Sangam near Srinagar. Okay, so now we come to the second question. What did Abdul Rahman Chacha like to do twice a day? The answer to this question is Abdul Rahman Chacha liked to count the number of bats in his warehouse twice a day. Now, the third question Why was the missing bat special? The missing bat was special because it was the biggest and lightest one of all the bats in the warehouse. Now the rest of the question with the answer. The fourth question says, who had taken the missing bat? The answer to this question is, Abdul Rahman Chacha had taken the missing bat. The fifth question is, how would you describe Abdul Rahman Chacha? The answer to this question is, Abdul Rahman Chacha was an old man with a hunchback. He was very strict, always frowning and always on his feet, trying to see what his workers were doing. So these are the five questions of the lesson, the missing bat. And this you have to write in your English notebook, the question with the answer. And uh, try to write the question without seeing it just hear it and try to write and as a self-analysis you can check the answer after writing i mean this will improve your spellings also your flow of writing also so try doing it this way now we have take the correct correct answers it's given in your textbook so you have to do in the same way First one says, Ahmed liked to hold the bats his father made because he dreamt of becoming a cricketer. Okay, the B, B is the answer for this. So, you'll just put a tick mark. We know, second one is, we know that Abdul Rahman Chacha was a suspicious man because for this, he always walked around to see what his workers were doing. And the B says, he counted his bats twice every day so both of the above c1 third one says abdul rahman chacha asked amir where ahmed was because the c1 is the correct answer he thought that the boy had stolen the bat now the fourth one amir looked straight at abdul rahman chacha because b b is the correct answer for this he wanted to make it clear that Ahmed was not a thief. Now, fifth, uh, fifth one says, Abdul Rahman Chacha laughed loudly when the bat was found. This shows that the correct answer for the fifth one is C. He realized that he could make mistakes too. The grammar portion that has been discussed in the missing bat is about the present perfect tense but before going to the present perfect tense uh, we'll discuss about what is a tense the concept of tense in English is a method that we use to refer to time and that can be past present or future and the present perfect is a grammatical combination of the present tense and perfect aspect that is used to express a past event that has present consequences. So we use this tense to talk about completed actions or about past events which have some effect on the present. For example, Abdul Rahman Chacha has counted all the bats. We can also use the present tense to talk about action that
that started in the past and are still going on. For example, Amir has made cricket bats for many years. Second one, he has grown impatient over the last hour. So, uh, some textual exercises are also given in concerning to the present perfect tense. We will be doing that as well. We have a textual exercise on page 5 of Canopy and the lesson missing bad. Uh, it says that complete these sentences with the correct form of the verbs in brackets. So, the first sentence says Aparna and there is a blank space and in bracket the word is written as buy some books for her birthday. So, that buy verb you have to change into present perfect tense right so it will become has bought now the second sentence says to dip to blank space the word is park his bicycle in the new stand so park will change into has parked the third sentence says have you then blank space is there read word the word is read the latest tinkle digest so read will change into red though the spelling is same but we'll read that as red have you read the latest tinkle digest now the fourth one says i have already for have also blank spaces there and then already then watch again blank spaces there and we are changing this watch into washed this film so i have already watched this film the fifth sentence says hasn't again blank spaces there so you'll use hasn't she not till will be changed into told you the news yet Now, there is another exercise uh, on page 5. It says uh, some questions are being asked and you have to uh, give the answer in the correct form. So, it says, the first question says, uh, I'll read the heading also, complete the answers to these questions using the present perfect tense. So, the first question says, have you ever been to Kolkata? The answer will come like this, yes, I have been to Kolkata twice. Then the second question, have you ever seen a play? The answer will come as, yes, I have seen a play. Now, has it rained recently in your city? The third question. So the answer for this will be, yes, it has rained recently in my city. Because your is coming, that will be changed into my. Now the fourth says question says, how... Many times have you helped someone in difficulty? Now, the answer for this will come. Many times I have helped someone in difficulty. Now, the fifth question says, How many books have you read in the last one month? The answer for this will be, I have read two books in the last one month. So, this you have to do in your notebook. Note down the question in your notebook and you have to write the answer. The vocabulary part of the missing bath discusses about an exercise. It is on page 6. So, it tells to write the meaning of one word as positive meaning and as negative meaning at the same time you have to write a positive meaning and a negative meaning of the same word so the first word is nervous so the positive meaning for this is shy and the negative meaning for this is scared scared is afraid you know and positive shy shy then it's timid okay so the next word is thin thin gives us a positive meaning as slim and the negative meaning it gives us skinny. Slim, you know, like uh, if someone is uh, complimenting your elder sister also or your aunt or your mother as slim, she, she might feel happy about it. But 
if someone says skinny it, it doesn't come out in a positive sense so like uh, and the meaning of the slim also says that gracefully thin but for the skinning is it says that unattractively thin so the positive is there and the negative is there of the same word the third word says not expensive so the positive meaning for this comes as inexpensive and the negative meaning comes as cheap though the inexpensive means low price and uh, for this also it means low price but of poor quality cheap means of poor quality also i mean the quality also is i mean of diminished quality so the fourth word says able to use able to use your intelligence to do or get something positive meaning for this is coming as clever and the negative meaning for this is coming as cunning so for this i can refer to your stories of your childhood like the clever crow why it has been called as a clever crow because he's the crow the crow uses his intelligence to get to quench his thirst he is not uh, harming anyone or destroying anyone or anything but he is using his mind to quench his thirst now the word cunning now for this also i can refer to the an old story the cunning fox okay so for that also like uh, the fox uses all the means or uses his intelligence to satisfy his want but in return she uh, the fox is uh, harming the other one so it is coming as cunning both is using the intelligence but without harming anyone and this may come as like you don't uh, care for others but you go to jail, like uh, use intelligence to be at the top so that comes as cunning the fifth word says pleased about your looks or abilities so this comes as proud and the other comes as vain so proud is a feeling uh, that comes it's a pleasant feeling that comes or when you achieve something own possession like uh, own uh, you're owning something or you're some quality you are possessing that makes you feel proud but vain is like you know, you're feeling proud in a bad way in a sense like when someone is pleasing you 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 feels like okay i am the only one so the vain word is coming over here you have to do this exercise in your book in the same way now there is another exercise on page 6 it's the continuation of the same one but here you have to fill the uh, meaning as positive or negative as per the sentence so the first sentence says the dash fox tricked the crow into dropping its food from its beak so it will be cunning not clever because uh, the fox is using the intelligence but at the same time destroying or harming others so the next sentence says i have only enough pocket money to buy mega and dash gift for her birthday so it says like when you are buying a gift it cannot be cheap it can be inexpensive as per your money so it can be inexpensive and uh, if you are being intelligent also you can fill it uh, very correct because an word is there so it has to be inexpensive so here you are using your intelligence means you are being clever it's not being cunning right so the third sentence says sara is too skinny skinny we are using here and same time a comment is also coming in relation to that doesn't she eat anything so when you are using slim it it is gracefully thin but skinny is not like that so here the word skinny is there now the fourth sentence says robin was too shy to talk to the new student in his class shy we are using here not scared sometimes when you enter into a new environment you may feel shy for some time so the word shy is here it's a positive meaning coming here of nervous now the fifth sentence says my sister is very proud we are using proud not vain of the many medals she has won in school she is feeling proud of the medal she has won in the school 
so not vain so you have to do this exercise also in the textbook